Everybody, if Ohio succeeds in changing a state rule that drops the mandated number of teachers for things like art and music and gym, children won't be the only ones affected. The quality of the teachers could suffer too. Local 12's Larry Davis joins us now live from Oxford, where professors and education students are weighing in on the issue. Larry? Hi, Cammie. Well, a lot of people just can't imagine future high school and elementary students not taking an art class or even a music class in school. And a lot of education majors now shudder at the thought as to what the prospects might be should something like that happen. Music education is alive and well on college campuses like Miami University, but that may not be the case in some Ohio public schools. The proposal to drop the mandated number of teachers for the arts, phys ed, and other non-testing programs is a concern to future music education teachers like D. Isaac. It's definitely something that's crucial, I believe, um, even in every aspect of learning, whether it's elementary, middle school, or high school, or even continuing to college. Isaac, a Miami senior, is concerned that the change in standards could result in fewer college students majoring in education. Nowadays, people don't want to go to college and have uncertainty, like you need that certainty, and it definitely will affect how many people go into these arts after college. It's one of those things, often I think the arts, it, they're not missed until they're gone. Miami director of bands and professor of music Gary Speck also has concerns about the proposal to drop those mandates. Fewer jobs for students, that's a concern to us, but philosophically what happens to the students in these districts that don't have the experience of of taking visual art or singing or playing an instrument. And the possibility of fewer jobs in music education is a concern to D. Isaac, who graduates next spring. He can't imagine that after going to college for four years, he may find it tough fulfilling his passion to teach. What I really love is to teach students and um, to take that away from someone, not even myself, but anyone who loves to teach music to students would be, uh, it would be definitely a travesty. And Cammy D says that uh, he will be student teaching next March, and that's just about the same time that the state of Ohio is going to make a decision on whether or not to drop those mandates. And uh, for D. Isaac, that uh, means that a job teaching music education at that time while he's doing student teaching will be very much in limbo. Live in Oxford, Larry Davis, Local 12 News. Can't be back yeah, to you. You really got a feel for him and others like him. Larry, yeah. thank you for the story. The 5 of 8 rule was put into place in 1983. One state school board member who supports repealing it says it's out of date and he believes there's a lot of misunderstanding about the desire to repeal the rule.